Hey guys, this is Trisha Halper. <laughs> Hi! If you guys don't know who Trisha Halper is, one, you've been under a rock, and number two, you're not a very big fan because you've never seen Battlestar Galactica, so turn it off now. Just kidding. We are doing cryotherapy today. I don't know if you guys have ever done this. I've never done this. We're gonna go freeze ourselves. It's supposed to be like good for wrinkles. That I need. I need that too. I just noticed these today. You're a baby yet. I turned 40 in a month. <laughs> I turned 46 in a month. <laughs> Robin just turned 30. Yeah. Nobody cares. So this is supposed to be really great. I'm assuming the idea is shocking the system and then going back. It's like taking a cold shower on steroids, right? I don't like cold. I don't like cold either. I'm gonna be a wimp in there. Is it? Is it like it's so cold that you don't even really realize it's cold? I don't know. It's really cold. It's like... It's minus 190 or something? Yeah, minus 190 How does degrees. You? I know, and I have another question. Do I need to take my tampon out? Like, is it gonna freeze inside of me? That's a good question. I know! It'd be, it'd be like those stuck to the pole, like the tongues. <laughs> well, unless you're made of metal, unless you're unless literally your Trisha, Trisha has metal discs in her. I know. I actually do have that question because I have four artificial discs, so I am concerned about. <laughs> My only concern is the tampa. We always talk about periods. <laughs> we do. We talk about periods all the it's time. It's part of life. It is it part is. of life until it isn't, and I'm not that old yet. So, <laughs> all right. Um, Neither am I. I just have a bad back, scoliosis, and things, and I get really tense and painful to the point of not being able to sleep. Yeah. I'm really curious if it helps that, because if it does, I'm gonna be living in there, right? My shoulder was falling asleep last night because of a pinched something at the gym, and I've been working out super crazy for the show, so everything hurts on my body, so I'm curious. And then the facial thing's awesome because it's literally just this part of your face, which is what we're all concerned about. Our bodies. Well, I'm kind of here. Oh, too. yeah, this thing. This how it's, it's like so many women get like everything sucked back, but then and everything they still else have still looks this. old. I mean, I'd rather kind of match. Yeah, it's like the carpet and the drapes thing, but with yeah. our skin. Yeah. Right? Me too. All right. Well, let's go try this out and see if I have to take my tampon. Got it. Got it. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Welcome to the coldest place on earth. I'm Amelia. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. Hi. Katie. Katie, really? have you done cryotherapy before? Never. No. Never. What's the reason why you would like to try it? The main reason for me is that I hear, like, I know the benefits of going from hot to cold, like mm -hmm. sauna to cold lunch, and I know that you put ice on muscles when they hurt, so this has got to just sort of be that on steroids, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. So it's like a humongous ice pack on steroids for your entire body. It's much colder, though. At the same time, it's much more comfortable because it's a dry cold. It's a completely different experience than taking an ice bath. Most of our professional athletes or even, like, people that work out, once they've done cryotherapy, they never want to go back to an ice bath. Really? Yeah. What about the facial? Is it working the muscles in the face or is it no? Not? It's basically we're freezing the outer layer of your skin in order to promote collagen production. So it helps also with skin tightening, it shrinks pore size, it uh, reduces inflammation and swelling. Um, How often do you do both? Is there like a is it something you can't do more than say once a week or once a month? So a cryotherapy is actually something that, especially when you get started, you want to do 10 to 20. So like once a month, it won't Not get enough. you the result that you are probably needed to really, like let's say if you recover after an injury or surgery, or if you come in because you have rheumatoid arthritis, I mean, we have a lot of clients that come in with inflammatory disorders. Mom. This is when you need like a, like a monthly plan, for example, okay. and you come in five times a week. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And okay. what about, is there an issue with, I have artificial discs with having metal in your body. Is there any issue with that? No, or? as long as inside your body, it's totally fine. There shouldn't be any metal outside your body. Like big chains, let's say you have a big gold chain and you go in a hot sauna. Right. This is the same, just the opposite. So it gets extremely cold and can irritate or worst case burn your skin. So you should take off jewelry that is touching your body. Earrings, rings are usually totally fine because we cover them. Also, another question, which is crazy. If you're on your period, is this a question you get? Like, oh yeah, you, all the time, yes. Can it freeze? Like, no, I mean, it's... Or something? Like, no. Am I fine? Okay. No, no, no. It, we don't do cryosurgery here. <laughs>
Yeah. But you gotta ask questions, right? I know. No, no, I mean, it's a completely you. valid question. Yeah. I mean, I, we do have clients, it's like, oh, you know, I have cramps and I don't do, I don't want to do cryotherapy because obviously it's extreme. But you should. A lot of female clients come actually on the period because it helps really? them with the cramps. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Oops. So we can yeah. get you started. Do you typically have good blood pressure? Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. 13 over 76. I never know what that means, but. Oh my gosh, it's high. But you were talking and moving. Um, what were you? 125 over 75. And sometimes this might affect, but it's still, it's not too high at all. Oh, really? Treatment. Yeah. So like let's say if it would be 150 over 100, oh. we would need to be working. So okay. that's perfect. My talking and laughing doesn't stop. I apologize in advance. So you go first in the pre-chamber. <laughs> You take off a rope, so you will get undressed inside. inside. So we'll be naked together? You can leave your underwear on. We've been naked together before. That's I'll fine. My Women can be naked. <laughs> Just in case. I would leave your bra on. Leave the bra on. Yeah, I mean, some people put like pasties on them, like, but we're not in a strip club. So. <laughs> so, so when we go running, if it's really cold, I get like rashes on the nipples. My nipples get hard and then rub on yeah. my sports bra. Well, they bleed in marathons. And oh my God, it hurts so too. bad. So if the breast gets too cold, another recommendation, just I will give you gloves. Just hold them in addition but if you have a bra it shouldn't be any issue okay okay so number one breathe through your nose in and your mouth out if you are able to stay there for 20 seconds you will be fine for the two minutes usually when people freak out it's the initial cold shock so try to stay calm so nose mouth it's great that you do it together okay. for first time it's usually much easier the if they have shirt. a pre I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Okay. Nose, mouth. It's really cold. Ooh, my nostrils are. I know. One minute, thirty seconds remaining. Oh, oh my God! Shit. <laughs> Are they gonna give out on me? Are they just gonna? It felt like my skin was like crystallizing. Yeah. And my nostrils were getting cold, but it's kind of a high now. It is a release on endorphins right after the treatment yeah. because you survived the cold. So like, I love the effect when I come out. That's my favorite part. And the first time is really the hardest. Like if you do it like a few times, it does get easier. So we would have one more minute to go to the maximum, right? Right. And we got to the point at 30 seconds when it said one more one minute and 30 seconds to go and i was like oh my gosh i thought we were already in there for like a minute yeah 
that's when it was like, oh, we've got more time. Oh my gosh, that was yeah. awesome. I could, I could see building up to three yeah. minutes. Yeah. But oof, not more than that. No. <laughs> no, no. My head started to like get like a tiny headache right in front. And I yeah. was like, oh wow. So and next I, time when you do it, I get the same thing. Uh, like we have headbands or a beanie that should take care of it. My legs felt like there was ice on them and they were freezing. It was my shins. Really? I was wondering because if it was like... Yeah, the next time pull the socks. The socks up higher. This is where we have the long socks. Ah, yeah. We started holding hands at the end. <laughs> Just at the very end. And then when it started counting down, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it in here. This is really cold. But what's interesting is that this is completely warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my legs are still cold. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Yeah, it's normal. Because your extremities get colder, right? Of course, right? yes. And this is also where we give you gloves and socks. I mean, if you wouldn't wear socks or gloves, oh, you, you wouldn't be able to stay as long. Too cold. It's, and it would, we just would risk, you know, freezing. Frosty. Freezing. <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah. Now you have to go get your GoPros. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Lock them in. <laughs> ah. <That's> cool. <laughs> GoPro's gold. I can definitely I feel like to yeah. do that again. Yeah. I'm not right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can come back tomorrow. <laughs> Are the GoPros? Oh, they seem fine. Yeah. GoPro. Go, go. Cold test. You seem fine. Minus Sponsor 190 us. degrees. <laughs> I could definitely see the benefits of this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How does your back feel? Like, how do you feel now? I mean, I think I'm still in that little bit of kind of body shock because I had a pinch in the shoulder before I went in, and it could just be that I'm still cold, but it it definitely feels not as impinged. In my head, I'm thinking without having read up on it or whatever that it's more of like a cumulative yeah. as opposed to an immediate fix. But maybe yeah. I'm wrong, unless it's know. like severe like inflammation of an like injury after a workout, or something. If you go in like right after a workout, maybe. Right. How do you guys feel mentally? Was it like make you feel um, awake? It's not. No, it no. It's not like it's like a shock to the system, like jumping in a cold pool. Yeah, she's it's not right. That. With the dry heat as opposed to the cold heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I could have done that in like a cold pool. I'm a wimp with cold water. Yeah, my nose felt like ice crystals were in it though. Yeah, like if you have a runny nose. I bet it would be really weird because it would freeze. Yeah. It felt like when I did that movie in Saskatchewan and I went outside to go for a run in minus 40 and I literally took like three steps out the front door and then came straight back. <laughs> what an awesome benefit though for like if you've got a child, like that little girl they said the youngest client has a child onset arthritis. Like to be able to give your child like a natural relief, if it works. God, it's just a couple yeah. minutes in a cold tube, a couple, you know, five days a week. To try and get my nephew to go in there, <laughs> right? I don't think it's that crazy expensive either. It's not cheap, but it's also not crazily expensive. Well, what's cool too is that they've got so many of these. You make an appointment, I bet you're in and out in five minutes. And you know what also? Being a girl. Yeah. You, you can go in and out without going, oh, now I have to shower because my hair is all soggy. You know, guys with short yeah. hair don't really think about yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. But like showers that only have a rain shower, I, I hate them. Because you're like, you try, you try you, not to yes, wash your hair. You don't want to wash your hair. I hate rain shower heads. I, I do too. I hate them. What's nice about this is you get the treatment without coming out going, oh, now I have to go shower, and it, which yeah. adds on to the time, to your point You could come during time. your lunch break. You could come during, yeah, short break. You gotta take your lip gloss off though. Yes. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's like, froze, keep your lips froze together. How do you feel? Good. Really good. Did that you was... defrost? Yes, oh. yes. You know, we were talking about the accumulation of it is probably better for your body and stuff, but my right shoulder isn't as impinged as it was mm -hmm. when I got here. Is that normal? Like if people come out in after a workout? Yeah, we do have a lot of clients that come either right after workout to help with sports recovery mm -hmm. or before workout so either way works but most of our clients coming after for pain management and sports recovery yeah yeah and how so how long does the cryofacial take so the cryofacial is about 10 minutes and the same kind of temperature like you experience in the cryo chamber just isolated <laughs> on the skin but it doesn't feel as insane. It's much more relaxing. Is it? Yeah. Because that was definitely cold. I don't know if I've experienced something that cold in my life. Now you can see how the outer layer of the skin is freezing. Right? It's interesting because it's, I mean, it definitely feels cold. Is it as cold as the room? It is now, but because it's localized just in one small spot, it's it more tolerable. I mean, if she was to hold it on one spot, it'd be right. getting up quick. 
So the benefit of this is the collagen production. Right, over time. So this is like where you see results within a series. So one session probably won't be enough. After one session, you might see their core size reduction. If you have like any swelling or inflammation, you will also n notice there right away a difference. It gives you like an instant glow. Going over the eyes, just sort of feel like your eyes like about to go, like, go inside your head. <laughs> yeah, when you go around the mouth, it's hard to talk actually. Oh, yeah. You do the neck too, that's good. Yeah. They always say that you can tell a woman's real age by her hands and her neck. So true, mm -hmm. yeah. 39, 39 and 7 eighths. <laughs> that was funny because I don't know if it was because I was talking or what, but when you went over that where if, like, I had, if I was a guy to have an Adam's apple, it almost stopped me talking. It's like, ooh. It's going to be really nice when Katie gets down there then. Because <laughs> I have an Adam's apple? No, because you don't stop talking. <laughs> oh. I was just thinking about my neck because I had thyroid surgery, so I don't have a thyroid, and mm -hmm. I have trauma in my neck, so there's like emotional, like if somebody touches my neck, it freaks me out, mm -hmm. so it's actually going to be really interesting. <laughs> Are you getting cold? <laughs> I can see kids. <laughs> I'm going to put my jacket on. Since I'm next. <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson. I, I would say I'm like, the forehead is my least favorite part. All right, that's all. <sighs> How do you feel? Good. Yeah, I feel like me standing over you. <laughs> what do I look like? Ooh. Do you feel like you look different? I feel like I look like Cold. a glow. Cold? You do, you on do. camera. Yeah? You do have. A glow? A glow. Are you pregnant? Thanks to you. I'm Whoa. Just <laughs> You're not allowed in there if you're pregnant. It's true, very true, very true. Okay. <laughs> Does oh, it, well, you know, it, feel, it feels like everything's just tighter? <laughs> Tight, yeah. Mm -hmm. feels good. Now, is that temporary or permanent? <laughs> For the permanent. rest of your life, you now will have the tightest skin. Perfect. Unfortunately, it's, you know, you have to keep maintaining it. It's like, you know, sometimes with a workout, you know? Right. Like if you don't keep doing it, yeah. obviously, you know, you lose muscle. And also similar with, with, the, with the cryofacial. So it's something, you know, that we highly recommend on the regular basis. Do you ever get just like regular cold now? Like if it's just a chilly day, are you immune to all normal cold levels now that you've done this so No, I'm, I'm still getting cold. I mean, I do cryotherapy like three to five times a week. Um, like I'm good for like short period of time with cold. When I go skiing or being in the snow, I do get cold too. I mean, my tolerance is pretty good. I mean, I'm from Europe and it gets colder there in general. <laughs> How are you feeling there? It's slightly uncomfortable for me because I can feel the tightness. I mean, it's. It doesn't hurt as much as Botox. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask if you could do this before a red carpet. Yeah, you can. The beauty about a cryofacial or about the whole body cryotherapy or pretty much about most of our treatments, there's no downtime. So you can even come with makeup, you can do it in, during your lunch break, you can do it before an event, or when you have a headache after an event, you're yeah. drawing too much, this feels really, really good. I still feel like I've got a glow. You do. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make this part of my routine. So if there's somebody that can't go into that cryo chamber and they just can't take it, like my mom is 74, mm -hmm. like I don't know if she could do that. If she's got arthritis in her hands, can you do this wand on yeah, her hands? Yeah, of course, yeah. We could apply this cold of air almost everything, like you were telling me about your shoulder. Yeah. We could Incorporated even with the cryofacial. Oh. We could do it on knees, Achilles, so almost all, like every part of the body we could apply. I can show you, like, here, you see how, like, I mean, I'm holding it really long. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really what an ice pick does in 10 hours, just in five minutes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty potent. Yeah, it gets really cold. I find that yeah. if you stay in one area, it gets like yeah. really cold. And just when I'm about to go, can you move that? You move it. <laughs> right, that's the key. Because you're from Europe and we all know that like, especially the Sweden and Norway and those countries, cold therapy is really big. Is that part of your guys' background as well? Is that why you got into this? My husband is a doctor. He graduated from UCLA and, oh, and okay. uh, I used to work as a reporter and one of the treatments were whole body cryotherapy. So we didn't really came from the right. cold plunge or like <laughs> jumping in a lake background. But obviously healing with cold is a pretty old concept. I mean, everyone knows about it. I mean, for centuries yeah. they were applying ice on the body. Right. It's just with cryogenic temperatures, we are able to bring it to a more effective and also it's classified as a medical treatment like in Europe. You will find those chambers in hospitals, rehab centers, the insurance is covering 
Wow. Um, if your primary care physician thinks that's the right therapy, it's integrated in the health system. Well, that makes complete sense to me because I truly do feel my shoulder blades released. I would have thought the opposite because I was actually so cold in there, I was yeah. tensing up. Yeah. But my shoulder blade feels fine and it's been hurting all morning. That's a good Ooh. effect. Yeah. <laughs> Frozen from head to toe. I do feel, ooh, I'm glowing. Right? <laughs> I do have a glow. Yeah. I love that. Oh my God. I think it just froze my face in place. <laughs> You'll be 39 forever. Forever. No, it's awesome. Hi puppy, are you getting cryotherapy too? Good, my yeah. face feels fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. You can find us on Instagram at cryohealthcare or cryohealthcare.com. Please come visit us and freeze with us. Uh, we would love to freeze your pain away. You don't need an appointment. You can just simply show up. We are walk-in basis, so when you girls come back next time, just show up. We, you're in the system. You can simply you know, walk in at any uh, of our locations. Fantastic. I, this is awesome. I can't wait to make this a part of my workout routine. Yeah, I'm going to do a package of three before I leave on Monday to Slovakia. Yeah, no, that's fun. That. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was thank you. so amazing. You guys, I highly recommend finding, if you're in the LA area, come here to cryotherapy. And just if you are experiencing any pain or think that this might be right for you, look for one in your area because this is really great. I feel like I look 25. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>